Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host uh, Shaheen. In today's video we are going to uh, look at the fundamental data. There was a huge debate and quite heated debate that was going on that inflation is going to high, uh, going to run high. And then of course Fed was coming uh, saying that it's not actual inflation, it's rather transitory inflation because of the bottlenecks in the economy, especially in the production area. And we are now right seeing that the consensus that data came out that today, the fundamental data that was uh, reported today, uh, we can see that the consensus was definitely higher inflation. We can see that it was uh, 0 0.4 expected and then we saw lower figures right over here exactly. Here we saw, uh, saw the ex uh, higher figures in consensus and here we see can the, the value is actually coming much lower than these figures. However, the mainstream media is interpreting it as negative still for a uh, US dollar and I don't think so that's going to happen. I think that uh, it's going to bring more uh, confidence for the investor um, because inflation is not running high. They can see the economy is opening back again. So what does that all mean for a uh, dollar index? I believe the dollar index which I have been analyzing for a while is going to go a bull and this is uh, it's going to go long basically it's going to uh, get the US dollar is going to get stronger and stronger and we are going to see uh, weaker precious metal weaker precious metals and we are going to see weak, uh, weaker US dollar index basket currencies uh, so this is the at least for now for at least now it settles the uh, or you can say that the uh, it has tilted in the uh, in in the favor of people who are saying that the uh, inflation is running actually just uh, transitory. Let us we have a look at uh, the price of gold in front of us. So we are going to shortly discuss it. Uh, in my previous in, uh, video that I've made for 15 minutes, I indicated that we are going to probably see prices going gold high. I do not see expect now to go it high. I'm expecting that this. Uh, support should raise uh, should actually work as a solid support and we are expecting the prices to uh, run down it also provides the fundamental uh, uh, basis that we were in actually saying that why the gold is going to go bearish all of the people who are actually bearing especially the large banks or large investors who are bearing on uh, higher inflation are definitely going to dump their precious metal and we have been seeing that uh, in the behavior for people who are actually uh, able to see that early on and that's why we, we saw the uh, negative price movement in gold and now more and more people like we said we are in the beginning of early part of wave C, wave 3 and that's what happened when most of the people actually uh, identify the major trend and that's exactly what we are saying most of the people are going to come and they're going to identify the major trend and that is bearish so I'm bearish on uh, I'm bearish on gold it also provides uh, uh, some uh, some relaxation to our curious minds that the fundamental data was not actually matching with the, what the wave analysis was showing. Let's have a look at silver once again. We have seen stronger. Uh, I was expecting that the silver will go up. Instead, we have seen a flat correction. Uh, we have also seen that the silver is actually showing more strength uh, towards a bearish trend as compared to gold now. I do believe that gold is going to catch up and it's going to uh, show uh, negative uh, price pressure. Especially if you guys can see that we have uh, created this low but the prices has still gone up. But I believe this is just temporary. Probably retail traders or some kind of... Uh, you might say that some large investors are probably trying to push the price up to come out of their positions probably that's what exactly right now probably happening as uh, because they fundamentally rely a lot on fundamental analysis especially large investors and banks and that's what we are seeing right now is that this push upward is just a knee-jerk uh, action that's what I'm hoping for now at least let's have a look at once again at um, silver we can see is a uh, uh, right now if it's not in acting in favor of precious metal it's going to go down and uh, my analysis indicated that however we on a 15 minute time frame we were expecting the prices to go up they did not right now they are forming a flat correction and I'm expecting the prices will actually follow uh, downwards let's have a look at euro we have already seen the uh, the zigzag pattern that we are indicating zigzag and a flat correction another zigzag and we are also seeing that the double support is coming in and uh, and I also I think right now that we have seen a, a sharper price movement downward and a, 
and a correction and we are heading downward so this is definitely giving as an indication that we are going to be bearish in euro uh, Canadian dollar once again is going to get weaker and weaker as compared to uh, US dollar US dollar is going to start getting strength and that's what we are seeing right now in all the currencies uh, British pound you're expecting for peak to happen uh, right now I believe that it looks like the final wave of the uh, ending diagonal which is expanding as well ending expanding diagonal I believe that we have created the top right now and we're going to hack downward so the main point I wanted to bring right over here is fundamental there was a lot of concern among retail traders they were hooked up with this idea that uh, inflation is gonna be running very very high I believe that the uh, the cyclic inflation period are is upon us in uh, probably six to eight months but as I said that period is not yet now so thanks a lot for viewing have a good one and bye bye